Good afternoon everyone. Today there will be a video tutorial on how to perform a clean installation of Windows 10 on a computer or laptop without a Microsoft account and only with a local account. If you previously had Windows 11 or Windows 8, in order not to lose your license, you need to follow a certain procedure during the installation process. Rule number one. At one of the installation steps, the program will prompt you to enter a product key, but here you do not need to use an activation key, click, I don't have a product key and continue with the installation. Rule number two. In the window where you need to select the edition of Windows 10, you need to select the same edition that you had earlier. If you had Windows Home, you need to select Windows 10 Home. If you had Windows Pro, you must select Windows 10 Pro, then you will not lose your license and Windows 10 activation will happen automatically. During the installation process, all personal files and applications will be deleted, so you need to back up your data and save it on another drive. I insert the USB flash drive into the computer, and now I need to make sure that there are no necessary documents and files, because at the time of creating the Windows USB flash drive, all data will be completely deleted. You should know that a USB flash drive for our purpose must be at least 8GB in size, and as we can see, my flash drive is quite suitable. Pen your browser and in search right, download Windows 10. Or open the video description and click the link to the Windows 10 download page. The Microsoft page has opened, and here we can get acquainted with the installation rules for Windows 10. To download a special application for creating a bootable Windows 10 flash drive, click here. The application has been loaded and our browser can be closed. Now let's open File Explorer and open the folder, Downloads. Double click on the icon and the application will start. Here you must accept the terms of the license, accept. In this window, I choose to create a bootable USB flash drive. Next. If you uncheck the box here, in this window you can select the language for Windows 10. I left English. Next. In this window we can choose to download the ISO file, I recommend choosing to create a bootable USB flash drive Windows 10, next. Here we see our USB flash drive and click, next. Now we will wait for the procedure to complete to continue with our video tutorial. We see that the process is complete and now you need to click here where it says, finish. Let's see how the flash drive is made. I open Explorer, then open this PC, and in this window I open the contents of the flash drive. Here we already see all the files necessary to install Windows 10 on the computer. In order to install Windows 10 on a computer, you need to restart it and call the start menu. Immediately after the reboot starts, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to call up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it may be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard in different computers may have different keys to call up the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive in the boot menu. Press, Enter. The installation menu opens. I'm not changing anything here, next. Install now. Here you need to enter the activation key, I used to have Windows 11 Pro installed on my computer, and now I don't need to enter the product key, because the activation of the new Windows 10 Pro will be done automatically. I click, I don't have a product key. If you had Windows Home, choose Windows 10 Home, if you had Windows Pro, choose Windows 10 Pro. This way you will keep your Microsoft license. Here I choose Windows 10 Pro. Next. I accept the terms of the license. Next. Click, here to continue with the installation. In this window, we see all the partitions and drives connected to the computer. Here I have a partition with the old Windows and three small system partitions. 
For the correct installation of the new windows, all these four sections must be removed, for this I mark each section and click, delete. All old partitions have been removed and you can now proceed with installing Windows 10 on your computer. Next. We won't have to do anything for a while, you can relax and have a cup of coffee or tea. The computer will automatically reboot several times. Please, don't turn off your computer. And just like that, all the Windows 10 files have been loaded, and now we need to do some configuration. Here you must select your region, yes. Now choose your keyboard layout, yes. Skip. I choose, for home use. Next. If you already have a Microsoft account, sign in, or create a new account. To create a local account, you need to click, Offline Account. Here you need to click, Limited Experience. In this window, you need to create a username. Next. Here you need to enter a password, but I will do it later. Next. The new Windows welcomes us. There is very little left. Yes. I did and now I have a brand new Windows 10 on my computer. I hope everything went well for you too. Now I'll open settings. Now I will open the section, accounts. And here we see that my Windows is running a local account manager, and my account name is Malik. To sign into your Microsoft account, click here and then follow the prompts. Let's open the section, activation. Yes, the new Windows 10 was automatically activated based on my digital license. I hope what I just said can help you and if you found it helpful, please share my video with someone. Write me a comment. I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a nice day.